Yes, sir, baby, on the radar radio. Yo, special guest in the building, UK in the building, Quang Face in the building. What's up, bro? What are you telling me, my guy, man? What's up? Man, still, still. Man, so this is, I got to get this right. This is your first American interview. Yeah, first time. Insane. Thank you for being here with me. Thanks for having me, man. We've been here for like a little bit. Um... We shot a movie in here. I'm not gonna say what's going on because it's not it's not gonna be out for a little bit. Yeah, but, but it's we're coming. Lit. It's lit right now. We got a freestyle from you that we just shot in here that's on the way so the people can get excited for that. Yeah, man. Yeah, quickly. It's quick. And I you got the cool up like what what was it? Yesterday, two days ago? Two days ago, yeah. Yeah, it's like, yo, calm down, I was thinking shit. Well, am I even gonna spray? So I just came up with something quick. Yeah. And you blessed it, bro. Nah, you I killed love, you killed it. And you know when love. Bobby made the call and Bobby was like, Yeah, I have something from the UK in town. I was like, I was like, hell. I was like, yeah, we oh, gotta definitely. do this. And like when I heard the project too, I just was like, Oh man, this kid's special. Yeah, no, I love. So I'm excited to have you here. How you been, man? How's how have you been enjoying your time in New York so far? It's nice, you know. It's similar to <laughs> London. I won't even cap so but yeah, it's cool. The people are nice. Everyone loves my accent. <laughs> when I'm speaking, when I open my mouth, everyone's just like, oh. like they're just shocked to hear what I'm saying, isn't it? But yeah, it's cool still. They don't expect it, like yeah, when no, you when you, when you about to like order food or something, they're like, yeah. wait a second, what's going yeah, on here? Yeah, yeah they're like, huh? Like, some people even hear, hear what I'm even saying. They say, huh, on purpose. Like, yeah. They get so entranced by it, they're like, wait a second, what what are we doing? Yeah. And you've been working a lot out here. You've been cooking up with you've been cooking up with uh with our guy yeah, Dusty yeah. Locaine out here. Yeah, man. That's my guy still. I just been I've been in the studio with him and that we locked in. I've been locked in with a few other artists. Yeah. Who else you lock out lock in with out here? Secret. It's a secret? Yeah. Okay, we could just talk about Dusty. <laughs> so how did you two how did you two first meet up? How did that happen? We met up through Bobby still. Shout out Bobby. Yeah, man, shout out Bobby. Well, oh, through Bobby, obviously we linked up in the studio. From there, we just instantly connected, innit? Locked in there. And I think it's perfect because obviously, you know, we always talk about like the UK to like the Brooklyn yeah. drill connection, and you know how Brooklyn drill beats are 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 descendants from like UK drill beats. So I think that that's really cool that we get to tap in a little bit more this time around, and y'all yeah, two no, get definitely. to like link up together. Definitely, one hundred percent. Still, were you heavy like tapped in with what was going on over here with with yeah with the drill scene and whatnot? I was always like aware of what was going on, but obviously because I knew I was coming over, I done a bit of research and okay. I, I understand it a bit more now. And yeah, I can't like, rate it still. What did you have to look up like, before you came over here? What did you, what, what was just, some of the research you did? I just looked up a few artists, looked up what's going on here, what's going on there, uh, just what's going down in New York, what's hot and what's what's not right now, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. And and then the dusty leg up, and then the rest is history. Huh? The dust, and then you linked up with Dusty, and the rest is history. Yeah, man. <laughs> but since like this is your first American interview, you know, I really kind of want to get the history of of you. So, how did you first start making music? Like, how did we first start getting to the music stuff and all that? I don't know. You know, when you're like when you're younger, you just want to do everything. You want to yeah. Fuck, you want to do. I don't know if you like did soccer, but you know, you want to play basketball. I play baseball. Yeah, you want to play baseball. You want to play basketball. Mm -hmm. You want to make music. You want to engineer. It's just like yeah. I was trying everything, and then obviously music was kind of one thing that I was kind of good at. Mm -hmm. So I just kind of stuck. I kind of stuck to it. How long you been doing it now? Seriously, since like 2016. Okay. So what was like the moment for you where you're like, oh shit, I could like turn this into like a full career. I can like take this further than just you know, maybe doing it for fun. I think, I think these times, Spotify was just properly introduced okay. to, into the into the UK like just properly well drill artists so I think from, from there we kind of saw like I kind of saw that I could, you can you can kind of profit from from this it makes right. sense in it so I was thinking yeah why not it's a legitimate income it's something you can get into you know, it makes sense Right, right. And so I think like an, a question that a lot of people over here would have that I have is you be moving tactical everywhere. You got the mask on. You got yeah. the glasses on. Everywhere. Yeah. And even in, even when you know looking at your at your social medias and all the videos that you shot, you always got the mask on. What's yeah. the what's the reason for it? Cutting through. Obviously, at first it's just no face, no case, isn't it? <laughs> like, it's just no face, no case. Like I feel like also like you could probably like 
since you always wear it in your videos and on like social media and whatnot, you could also just go walk around. Like one day you could take it off. You could be somewhere. You could walk around and nobody would also would be the would be the wiser too. You could just go and uh, there's some little widows out there that know. Oh, you really? Yeah. There are a few people out there. Yeah. So you always got to keep it off, no matter what. I don't. I don't need to in it, but obviously. Yeah, yeah, but like, yeah, yeah. Just moving, moving yeah, correctly. Yeah. No, I guess. So you got your so. The project that you put out this summer, right? What I thought was so cool about it was that on most of the records, um, there was like the little introduction to the record, like, oh, mm. this is this record. Some yeah, records had yeah, the yeah. look out for the video, look out for yeah. this. What was like the decision behind that? Because I don't think I've ever heard that on, um, I don't think I've ever heard really any artists do something like that aside from like, you know, like someone hosting a mixtape, like like a DJ drama. Uh, you know, I think majority of the mixtapes that I used to listen to when mm -hmm. I was younger, like, um, you know, like mac and cheese too, and yep, and all of them. They kind of they had like a host on it. Mm. Some of like other artists had hosts on their on their tapes and that. So I feel like I've that's something I've always wanted to do with my mixtape. So I I think I just kept that in my mind, kept kept that full. And then yeah, when it was time to do a mixtape, I just thought yeah, that was, that was the guy for it. Word. Up, um DJ Big Red. And I thought it was I thought it was so fire because I wasn't expecting it. You know what I'm saying? Like it was one of those things that I was like, listen, I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. And then obviously at the end of the tape, you had some of the videos that you was talking about. So I like I, I went and I was like, oh shit, I remember that this record got a video. I gotta go check that out now that it's out. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, yeah, I guess it's helpful for that. I think it's just more to like give you a feel like you got someone walking you through like the tape and mm. like like you actually like got someone like, yeah giving you a breakdown of what's going on in the tape. Like it's giving you more of a feel to it. That's what I'm, I, I probably think. Right. And as we enter 2022, so what's, so you were talking about how like, if people like that, this next thing that you're working on is going to be even crazier. Yeah. So what are you cu currently working on right now? Like what's going on with the music? You know, I know it's been, it, what, it was August. So it's been a little bit since you dropped, uh, since you dropped the project. Yeah. What are you kind of working on right now? I'm still, obviously I'm working on the second project right now, isn't it? I'm not, I'm not done, but yeah, that's more or less m my main focus. Mm. Yeah. When could we expect that? In the new year. Okay, yeah. so in 2022, we're going to get this project soon yeah, then? 100%, 100%. And will we have some, oh, so you said you, you worked with Dusty, you got some more American artists that you're working with, that you're tapped in with. Yeah. Um, what else What else can the fans expect? I don't want to give too much. Don't want to give too much? I don't want to give too much, just hang on tight and see what I'm going to what I'm gonna produce, and but obviously my fans have faith in me. They know I, I, I always produce bangers. So yeah, man. And as like the third, I think you're the third UK artist to bless the show. And what I like doing with every single one that comes on, because I like learning more about the UK music scene as I as I meet you guys. Yeah. Who else do we have to be on the lookout for? Like, who are you kind of messing with from over there that we over here in America got to be tapped in with? I'm fucking with PS Hit Squad, the Zone Twos, Burner. Oh shit! You kind of put me on the spot there, man. I'm so, but, I, hey, bro. I mean, you, Burner was on. You worked with Burner, so yeah, yeah. Burner, Smug, Z, S, Q, T, T. There's a lot of artists that man's fucking with still, but obviously I can't like you. Just kind of put me on the spot right now, so I can't really think at the top of my head. A few yeah. of you guys. Yeah, man. A few of those people still. But yeah, those names are said. Therefore. Well, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to when they get to properly come over here and I get to I get to link with them. And I'm looking forward to kind of getting more in tune with more of the people over there and being able to help push y'all yeah. no, over here. Because I think what y'all have over there, and you especially, like your music is really special. Yeah. And I feel like, you know, over here, we deserve to we deserve to hear more. We deserve to have that push over here as well. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. Well, before we sign off here for the day, is there anything else that the people got to know? Anything you want to let them know before... Before we go, this camera right over here. This one there, yeah? Yes, sir. Boom. YPV2, the mixtape, out soon. We're loading. Me and Dusty, we're locked in. We're loading. You know how it gets, man. You're going to see more of me in the States, not just New York, man. Trust me, we're loading. We're loading. Yeah, literally, that's it. We're loading. We're loading. <laughs> well, make sure you go run up the project. Make sure you go check out the freestyle. If you're watching this the day it drops, yeah, freestyle's out tomorrow. Make sure pop, pop, pop. you go tap in with him. Go follow him on everything. You're mm. going to be seeing him a lot more, like you said, out here. We loaded. Yeah, Quick face on the radar, my brother. Oh, Appreciate you, bro. Love.